Hi, beautiful. This is long overdue for me. I need a new wig. I need a new wig that makes me feel magical and special and sexy. And there's nothing I love more than a new rainbow wig. Today, we're doing this special, gorgeous look. Oh my, oh, yes, I can't wait to have this, yes. Gorgeous. That is the look I'm gonna be doing today. Maybe a little bit different color scheme and I'm gonna be doing on a wig so I can wear it and show you guys the results on my own head. And that way I get to feel the full fantasy. And also if you ever wanna do a look like this at home on your own head, I'll be showing you how to achieve it. Hello, client for today. You look beautiful, but you're gonna be even more beautiful when I'm done with you. I am about to transform this blonde wig into my dream hair. I'm excited to actually do the whole process, but also I'm not excited because it's a lot of work and a lot of patience to color damn wigs. And the moment you touch this lace, you're completely f My assistant will be helping me out. Um, so thank God. What we're gonna be doing, you guys saw the little video. It's a whole peekaboo moment. And so the way we're gonna do this is by sectioning out this top bit. And what's important about sectioning out the top part is to make sure that you take enough hair that when you let it down, it's enough to actually fully cover what's underneath. That way you don't see that kind of peekaboo section on the top of the head, which is gonna be kind of difficult in this situation because um, there's not a whole lot of hair on this head to work with. So hopefully the peekaboo moment gets actually covered up by the stuff on top. We're obviously using X Mondo color today and I'm gonna start off showing you guys my section really quick. It is quite simple, but basically I'm parting in the middle. I'm gonna go down to like where the recession line is and then just make like a triangle on both sides of the head. And I'm only gonna be coloring this much of the hair underneath. So majority of it is going to be just one solid blue color and the rest is going to be magical. And I can't wait. And there we go. We took it pretty far down in the back. That way you get the coverage we need to cover the peekaboo, but we still have so much hair underneath to actually color in that rainbow pattern. And I am stoked about it. All right, let's do this. We're gonna be using X Mono Color Super Blue. Wow, look how pretty. I love Super Blue. One of the first colors we came out with and it is iconic. It's gonna be so like deep and sexy. And that is what I want. I always want sexiness within my hair. Crystalline, can I have your assistance? Yay, welcome. So I'm just gonna be braiding the underneath of the hair. That way we do not color any of this blue. Today we're using some mesh because this makes things a lot easier. I'm totally playing with you, I never use this before I just opened it, but it seems like a good idea. So we're doing it. And what we're gonna be using this for is to lay our first section down on it. We're gonna put one on the back and one on the sides. That way we can just lay the sections on there and not worry about any of it transferring onto the underneath side. One of the most annoying things when it comes to doing wigs is just coloring them in general because the lace, you do not wanna color it or else it is not going to look realistic. And um, let's just say Christine and I, especially me, I have tried every different sort of technique when it comes to coloring the root area of a wig. Guys, you can dip the hair into color. You can layer a hair gel on the roots to make sure the lace doesn't get colored. None of them are foolproof besides this. You have to color the hair with a toothbrush, which is painful um, because it takes forever, but it comes out with the best results. It allows you to make sure that you do not color the lace and it looks nice and natural at the root and it doesn't look like your scalp is colored because that doesn't look good. <laughs> Update, we are making our way around to the top of the head and it is a lot of work. And as you can see, I'm only going down three inches from the roots and then I'm gonna go back with the actual hair coloring brush and do the ends and mids. The toothbrush is just that I do not color the lace and make it look all nasty. Boom! The blue has been applied and look at that. Look at that scalp region. It is not colored, it is looking fierce and we're on to the next part. We're going in, we're starting with coral and it is just a beautiful in between like orange and pink, obviously it's coral. All right, I am beginning with the coral here. As you can see, what's best about this look is if you do like really light colors underneath or just lighter colors than what you're doing on the top. That way when you move the hair apart and get that satisfying moment where you see the underneath, it's like really bright and really pops. Um, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. And guys, her hair already feels pretty good, but obviously when 
she uses X Mondo color, like she is now, great choice, honey. Within every single X Mondo color, you're obviously getting extremely bright, pigmented, beautiful, stunning, fabulous color. But you're also gonna be getting Bond Builder in the product along with hyaluronic acid, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, and so much more. And plus it smells incredible. Also, if you've never heard of Bond Builders before, which I'm sure you guys have, we are one of the only brands that actually have Bond Builders built into our color. That way you're getting healthier hair while you're coloring it. And that was always the most important thing to me when I created this color line is to have healthier hair post coloring. Because in order to get your hair light enough to actually use these colors, you need to inflict some damage on it. Unfortunately, bleach is still damaging and it probably will be for a very long time. And I wanted to create a product that when you put this over pre-lightened hair, you're going to have the silkiest, softest hair, like softer than before you started coloring it. If you've ever used my color before, you know just how soft your hair gets after. It's really a combination of like a hair mask and color all in one. So for $28, you get the color and you get a hair mask all in one, in one simple, easy step. It's all about simplicity and making your hair feel and look better and actually be better internally. It's a really easy process to use the color too. It's much easier if you're not doing it on a wig like this. You really just apply it all over over pre lightened hair or over your natural hair color. Some of the colors do work over your natural hair color. You have to look at the website to see our swatches and make sure you check out the starting hair color and the results of using that color on your particular starting hair color. This is coming together already. I see it happening in front of my eyes. Okay, now I'm going in with some super orange here. You know, another inch down with the super orange. The next section we have super yellow. Look at how bright and sexy that yellow is. It's like neon yellow. And if you're gonna do yellow in your hair, it better be neon. Wow, look at how pretty these colors are together. Oh, hell to the yes. Another great thing about Xmodo Color is that the formula is thick, but not too thick that it doesn't blend. If you put the colors side by side, you don't exactly like have to use a mesh or a foil to keep them separated. You can put them like directly next to each other. And if you don't actually go in and blend physically with the colors together, they will stay separated, which is amazing when you're doing things like this. But if you do want them to blend, just going in with your fingers like that, they will blend together quite easily. If you want them to blend, they can blend. And if you don't, they will stay apart, which is so nice because it is annoying when you have like super liquidy color that just runs into each other and you like can't help it and you have to like use foils and it just adds more time onto the coloring process. I know for myself, I want things to be simple and easy and um, color's already really hard so we don't need to make it any harder. And lastly, but certainly not least, we have one of our new colors, Lime Green. And I'm definitely coloring a lot of her ends with the lime green. That is because she is going to definitely need a trim after this. Her hairs are a little straggly and I'm not really feeling that for myself today. And just like that, we have completed the coloring process. The blue with the duh, and the green and the yellow and the duh, it's gonna look so cool. So we're gonna let that process for 20 minutes. I'm gonna rinse this off. I'm not gonna shampoo. And then I'm going to cut her hair. I'm going to style her hair and I'm gonna plop it right on this head baby. And I'm gonna live my full blue slash peekaboo slash sort of rainbow moment. The colors are getting more and more vibrant as I sit on her head too. So this feels good. This feels right. Uh, Oh my god. Are you ready to see this masterpiece? It looks so good already. <sighs> you guys. <laughs> this is gonna be one of my favorite wigs ever created in my life. <gasps> It already looks so cool and it's not even dry yet. Um, so first, she needs a little trimmy trim. I mean like, ew, <laughs> what is that? We want her hair to be all one length and we don't want too much layering in there because we want the blue to lay on top of everything else and cover it up. Which I don't know if that's gonna be possible because her hair is pretty fine, but we'll see. 
give her a little bit of angles in the front, you know, just to get that dead hair off. I don't know, I'm kind of living for the drama. I don't know if I want to bring it any shorter. You know, like I could, but I actually kind of like that you can see all the green on the ends. Like I love this fade from blue to green. I don't know if I want to get rid of it anymore. Okay, so we're ready for the blow drying process. It's gonna be so satisfying to watch. Another thing I want to mention is that I've learned over time that I like to avoid putting product in the hair when it's a wig until I'm finished with the look. I know that a lot of people do put product in, but it just makes it look kind of greasy and weighed down. And I want movement. I want life. I want sexiness. When you're doing a wig, you want to make sure that the hair is extremely flat and suctioned to the head if you want that really realistic looking wig. I also like to buy wigs that don't have a high density. Everybody thinks it's like better to have higher density. It's not. The lower the density, usually the more realistic it looks. You want your ends to be kind of fine because that is what real hair looks like. Plus, when it's finer at the top and you have less volume, the more it's gonna look like it's growing out of your head. I'm gonna throw in some Viper smoothing oil here to really make everything just the glossiest it can be. Viper is amazing because it really dries into the hair and you do not get left with like a really greasy residue, but it does an incredible job at hydrating the hair and making everything so shiny. Oh my God, look at how glossy this hair is already. Whoa, that's insane. I'm gonna go in and flat iron this hair now and get everything laid super flat. We're just gonna go in, lift up some sections, get in there. It's already pretty straight, but we're just trying to get every little hair laid nice and flat. And I'm making sure to use my iron not on the highest heat setting because wig hair doesn't grow back, okay? So we gotta take care of it. So now I'm just spraying a little bit of hairspray just on the top of her hair. And normally at this point, I would be using a hot comb, but I can't find it for some reason, which is really annoying, but it's fine, I'll get through it. Uh, so we're gonna use a very large curling iron um, and we're just going to place it on the top of the hair. This is at a very high temperature. This is at 430 degrees. And we're just gonna get that hair really flat to the scalp. This is what you can do if you don't have a hot comb, um, but it's not exactly the same. This is just to make it so super flat to the head so that it looks very realistic on the person's head. And also I love to like make the hair go back here. I just feel like when you can see that area at the front, it just makes the wig look more real. Oh, hell yeah. See how much just flatter that is compared to this side? All right, this styling is pretty much done and I am going to go and lay this on my head as best as I possibly can with the last ounce of patience I have for today. So hopefully it looks okay. But I'm also really stoked to put it on my head. Like it's already just so pretty. And the wig is complete. Oh, 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 this is so cool. Like imagine if you saw me on the street and I just look like this, bitch, I'd be scared. But I also love how like the moment I put a wig on, I get like uncomfortable. Like when I'm on camera with a wig on, I don't know guys, it's just a lot. It's like definitely growing on me as I look at myself and I'm like, wait, sh you know what I mean? And no, I definitely didn't lay down the wig very well. Um, it's literally only laid right here. So if you see it, um, you know, coming up on the sides, just ignore it. But I love it. I really do. I love it so much. I want to attempt to do the whole thing where she parted the hair and stuff. I don't think it's gonna work as well on wig hair, but we can try. So let's get it nice and flat here. And then she kind of went like this to reveal what's underneath. Ugh, this isn't gonna work as well. No! That was so anticlimactic. Okay, but it still looks really cool. Let me just part it, even though I can't do that whole thing that girl does. Okay, I can't see anything. This is not as cool. Maybe my hair is just not as nice as that girl's in that video, um, but it's fine. It's fine that all I wanted today was that satisfying moment, but we're just not gonna get it today. Like, this is my favorite part. The way that the hair on top lays and gives you that kind of ombre effect at the ends with the lime green. 
Oh, bitch. I'm feeling sassy. I'm feeling extra. See, I would wear it more like messy though. Let me show you some of the things the wig can do. First of all, look how clean that part is. No color. That's what happens when you use a toothbrush, okay? And also watch this. It looks so cool. I look like my emo fantasy right now. Wait, like imagine if I had it all laid actually on my head and then I, I like wore it half up. 10 out of 10 for this color. This is definitely one of my favorite colors I've ever done. If not like my favorite, everything is just so cool. It's unlike any other wig I've ever done before. And it's just so fun and it came out so good and I feel so pretty in it. This is so cool and so edgy. And I highly recommend you doing this to your own hair if you are thinking about it. Sick. I I need to stop playing with the wig. Thank you guys for watching this video. <laughs> I can't stop. If you want to check out any of the color that I use in today's video, it'll all be linked below for you. And um, all the hair products and everything will all be at xmodohair.com. You can shop everything there. Everything is listed over here at Bradmondo NYC, at Xmodo Hair, at Xmodo Color. So check it out. And that is all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>